At least five American cities have mishandled critical evidence in rape investigations, in court, according to a new report out today. In those cities, more than 9,000 evidence kits have languished untested. We have more now from Anna Werner. In 1998, Brenda Tracy reported to police in Oregon that she was gang raped by four football players. At a hospital, nurses gathered evidence for a rape kit. I assumed that, like any other crime, police get evidence and they keep it and they process it. The men were arrested based on Tracy's identification, but she says she was intimidated and dropped the charges. Years later, she reconsidered, but discovered her rape kit had never been tested and, in fact, had been destroyed. It was devastated because I did everything right. I went and I got a rape kit right away. And I told the police what happened to me. New data gathered by the Joyful Heart Foundation, a nonprofit that works on national sexual assault issues, shows there are many cities where thousands of rape kits remain untested. More than 1,000 in Charlotte and Kansas City, Missouri, nearly 2,000 in Jacksonville and Portland, and almost 3,000 in San Diego. Ilsa Connect is with the foundation. I have worked with a lot of rape survivors whose kits have gone untested, and they suffer through a lot of shame. They feel that the criminal justice system has let them down, that nobody cares about what happened to them, that their experience was not important. In the last five years, CBS News has reported on several cities where rape kits sat untested. In one of those cities, Cleveland, once the kits were analyzed, they revealed 225 men were potentially linked to multiple rapes. Brenda Tracy is now working on legislation in Oregon. They deserve to have their evidence processed and tested, and the DNA needs to be put in the database if there is DNA. Now, the police departments provided us a variety of reasons for not testing these kits, including lack of financial resources and the fact that some victims did not want to prosecute. All say they are committed to clearing any backlogs. But, Scott, Portland police say they are now seeking uh, 2 to $3 million from the Department of Justice for testing every single kit. And to be clear, Brenda Tracy's rape kit was destroyed before the statute of limitations had run out That's on her correct. case. Anna Werner, thank you. Important story.